What's goody? What's poppin', y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today, like I said, we're gonna be getting these bad boys mounted onto these wheels. Uh, hopefully, this fits in the Mini Cooper because we did not bring the truck, and I don't feel like doubling back. So we're gonna try to fit these in the fit at least two sets in the like. So like, well, two of the fronts and fronts here. Try to put these in the Mini Cooper so that way we can get these mounted while I'm going to my dental appointment. Um, then we're gonna try to. Get some more of the Honda stuff done today. So let's get all this in the car and let's go head out. Got a packed car. That's why, that's why I should have drove the truck, man. Got a whole packed car. All right, so let's go drop off these wheels at California Wheels so we can get these things all mounted up. First, I gotta stop at the post office so I can drop off that big box. All right, so we're here at Cali Wheels. All right, and we got the sign up. Oh, Cali Wheels, there we go. So your knees mounted uh well also also with those tires so we're gonna try to get these out let's go see uh if they can take care of us today oh that's that one that you yeah. tell me about. let me see the inside yeah. i mean the motor yeah look all flat it looks all flat well look at it Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. That shit do look stock as fuck. Yep. Mechanical pump conversion. So it's all mechanical pumps. It's just up there. The real work is underneath. Hey, lift that bitch up. Yeah. All right, man. These motherfuckers would be looking like sleepers, bro. That's exactly. They don't, they don't make a lot of, like, they have a full carbon paired intake for somewhere around here. No. You can have a good one here. Oh, These motherfuckers secure as fuck. Oh, that's it. You want to see right there. God damn. Big boy. It's a whole custom exhaust. Yeah, it's all coming off. It's all it's running the stuff. It's running the stock muffler. Yeah, so it can be Damn. quiet. Yeah. Quiet as well. Two steps quiet. God damn. These shit don't even work. That's old school. We don't even yeah. care about them motherfuckers. That shit's dope. Uh, doesn't even have a front mount on it. Still has a trans leak. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, this is what blue on it. The dyno. Oh, uh, throw all bearing? Yeah. Uh, damn. Y'all replace it? Yeah, we replaced this. Let's see if we get some lock. Well, it, it kept locked. locking in. Yeah, it kept locking in. Yeah, it probably got something in there. Oh, we don't need yeah, That's fucking dope. Underneath the whole fucking car looked. Oh, it's like all mint? We, re, we redid all of it. It's got five lug conversion. Oh, two cloak with suspension. God damn. This bitch is clean as hell. She got good vacuum too. Oh, she's out of fuel right now. Yeah. That's her biggest problem. Yeah. Put some fuel in this thing, man. Put some fuel on this thing and fucking go gap some people. She's going to Chris's this week. For real? He gonna tune in and everything? Yeah. Get her ready. Hell yeah. Whole new top end, so. 
Yeah, I went to go get my injectors cleaned by Chris. Oh, that motherfucker's flow test is so nice. Does all the Fords have uh, power steering pumps like that? No. I, I was like, that's all fuck my truck. That's what yeah. it looked like. That's all it's from. Front truck bracket before we can do the, we can do the pro charger. Oh, this shit. this is an old pro charger. Oh, okay. This is an old setter, brother. This thing. I know nothing about Fords, dog. Okay, so this, <laughs> this is a pro charger. This is like a first series pro charger. It's yeah. an older setup. But the motor is fully built 427. Makes the car made on Chris's dyno last time with the old setup 922. Yeah. And now with the, like the full new internals and everything, with nitrous, we're hoping for nine again. You know what I mean? Yeah, hell yeah. Well, <sighs> shit, let me get up out of here. I gotta go sell this stuff to this dude. Take care of me. I'll be back with Sir, the other I set. You. I appreciate I it, bro. You. All right, so we got the wheels mounted, bro. I always forget my camera every time I switch over from the truck to the, the Mini Cooper. I always forget my camera, but got them mounted. They look crazy. Like, um, let's get uh, let's get them out the let's get them out the truck. Let's get them onto the Honda and let's see how these things look. Yes, sir. Those look amazing. So we took more of the aggressive approach. We went with the 225 50 15. So they're gonna poke out a little bit cause I'm gonna get a fender that's gonna match the profile of the wheel. So my fender, the new fenders that I'm gonna get are gonna come out to here, the carbon fiber um, and all that. So once we get those fenders after streetcar takeover, once we get those fenders, everything would look so perfect this they're just gonna poke out just a little bit um for now let's mount up the second one and let's drop the car and see how it looks i'm pretty sure the fender might hit the wheel because we need to um adjust the coilovers in the front i'm pretty sure but we'll see um i gotta adjust the coilovers in the front so i can get them get the honda to ride up a little bit higher uh i've got to adjust them in the back as well because once we get the wheels on the back this ride height is not going to be good enough so once we adjust them everything be good like i said let me mount this one real quick so we got both on the front just spinning them just to make sure nothing is scratching banging clacking or anything but everything sounds like it's good you hear no noises let me shut up real quick no noises at all so Fortunately, these gonna have to come back off. I just wanted to be able to get my jack from under the car. These are gonna have to come back off just so we can uh, put the axles and stuff back in the motor. Um, but right now, we're just test fitting them. So once we get these all good, we'll be all straight. So the only thing we're waiting on, like I said in the last video, we're waiting on our intake studs. Uh, but for now, what I might do, I might just mount up the fuel rail just for now, just so we can get our measurements for the fuel lines and everything, get all taken care of so everything be good. Um, I do have our hardware and everything for our steering wheel to go on. The only thing we're waiting on is this plug or uh, the selector switch for the windshield wipers. Waiting on that, uh, that comes tomorrow. So we'll have that as well. Um, still trying to figure out how to install that race pack. Um, might not install it before streetcar takeover, I might depends on like how when we get done and everything but we still have to install all our piping uh, i have to install this front in intercooler it's a four inch instead of the three inch that's on the car now so we still have to install that um I'm trying to think what else man it's just, it's just a little bit of things but uh oh yeah we still have to take the car to josh so he can weld in our our uh tra or differential and our fuel cell so we still have that as well so we we have a little bit of things to do man but i don't have time you know i'm always trying to get stuff out the way um i'm still like i said i still work i mean i still am in the military so i still have that to do as well so just wanted to come mount the tires and drop the car so let's drop the car and see how it rides so this is a hundred percent the car sitting on its own weight. Like I said, we're gonna raise the coilovers. It's definitely touching the tire. I'm not worried about it, but 
We definitely gotta uh, get this situated. We're gonna raise the car up probably half an inch uh, in the front. Uh, maybe more, maybe like an inch in the front so that way we know like for when we hit like dips and stuff, everything be good. Um, but let's install our steering wheel and everything. Let's get this all back installed. So that way we'll be able to be able to at least hooked up the, sh the steering rack and all that stuff. So let's get this installed. All right, and there you go. Our energy and our G steering wheel with the horn button is installed. Uh, it's not hooked up to the, the steering rack right now because I'm trying to get everything put together here first. So we're not gonna put the plastic pieces that go on the top and the bottom. We're not gonna put that on yet because uh, like I said, we're still waiting on that um, windshield wiper selector. So once that comes in tomorrow, I'll be able to put that in and put that back on, put all that buckle, all that back on. Um, until we can figure out how to wire in this race pack. Um, I still haven't looked at the instructions or anything. Until we can figure that out, I won't be installing that. So um, we might just keep this like this until we come back from streetcar takeover, um, Arizona. So uh, for right now, I'm just gonna leave that alone. So um, we do have a reservoir coming for this and then we'll be able to start knocking out this brake line. Uh, we also have, um, our our cord our uh our cables to hook up we still have to hook that up because i haven't hooked that up yet um just been leaving that alone until i get everything with the motor situated so this will be cleaned up that will be cleaned up uh since this steering wheel is closer i might have to adjust my um my seat back because uh i know before the steering wheel was like a little bit uh close up or uh closer to like the dash but now since it's further back towards me i might just you know push my seat back who knows um, let's get in here and actually see how it fits oh. i'm thinking about actually getting two different kind of bucket seats this isn't bad but look at you like if you can see how close i am to it you know I don't like being this close like when I'm driving. Look how my arm looks. Like so I might um readjust the seat. Kinda want this to be, you know, my seat be a little further back while I'm racing, but this right here is actually not that bad. I still can bang my gears and all that stuff. Um so we'll figure it out. Right now I'm just trying to Get everything situated like i said i still need this to be i want this to be you know maybe closer to me i, I think i want it to a little bit be a little bit further back but when you shift into these gears i don't want it to bud right here so you see it's like really close with the little with the with this on on there it might be even closer so don't want it to be too close to the point where it's hitting that so we should be good once I get all this situated. <sighs> Hopefully all my centerpieces go in, no problem. Might have to cut them a little bit, but should be good. 
I'm gonna have to look up the instruction manual on this because I want to install that so we can get rid of the boost gauge, the air fuel ratio gauge, and all this dash stuff be breaking, man. When you go high horsepower in a Honda, most of these dashes, the, the pin on the inside of this thing breaks. So it'll be a, you know, it'd be a headache to do, but it'll be, it'll save me in the long run. I'll have to keep going to the junkyard trying to find a Honda manual dash. These things are not becoming like easy to find anymore. So let's uh, get up out of here, man. Try to go get the other two wheels mounted onto the tires. I left the tires at the house. So I'm trying to get those wheels mounted. Uh, I do need door cards as well. So if any of you know a company that sells door cards, and I'm not talking about like the stock Honda door cards, I'm talking about like legit, like flat, aluminum door cards i will buy them so let me know uh, we do need these pieces as well i'm trying to just clean it up a little bit i need to mount this fucking thing i don't know where to mount it at i think it's supposed to mount like over there in the side but we'll figure that out um once once we get all this stuff done oh man i'm tired but right now yeah i gotta get up out of here i gotta go man because i gotta handle some military stuff today so once we get those other two mounted on and we get all this stuff done and I'll give you guys another video, but till then I catch on the next one. Peace.